Hey folks, back in the building, this is Lindsey Harrison with SPS over at the championship game for the Detroit Public Schools Community District. I'm sitting with a championship coach, not last season, talking about currently 2022, yeah. Coach George Ward of the Kings yeah. Crusaders. Man, man, appreciate you. They did it again, man. Yeah, they did. They did it again. They uh, did. I they just did. happened to be here for the ride. If somebody didn't see the game, uh, what would you tell them what the game story was? How was well, <laughs> play Kings basketball. Uh, a little anxious initially, uh, missed a few layups that we typically would make on the inside, but, you know, we knew that wouldn't be a uh, constant. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just kept plugging away, and ultimately, we knew this. And, and uh, Keyboard's done a great job of arresting them. I love his young men. They play hard. They play with passion. They came out of nowhere. They came out of nowhere. You know, they played. But you, you saw them in the summer and the fall. And you knew they were going to present some problems for a lot of teams. And, you know, he's done a wonderful job, man. I just have to put those young men over there, man. Uh, but the reality of it is this. I know they haven't played anybody like us. Sure. Sure, sure. I know they haven't seen that. So I knew it was going to be a little different for them tonight, but they did a great job in competing. And, well, I'm sure we probably said this in some of our many, many interviews when you sit in the winning seat, but how do you keep your guys locked in when they've had success in the recent time, they feel good about themselves, but they still got to come on the court and play? Making sure they, they understand they're not in the NBA, so it's a lot of things for them to work on. Mm, I ain't there yet, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's much to hype, despite the social media. Yeah, yeah. And, get there. And, and the one thing, the one thing that has been magical is Chauncey DeWine Willis Jr. has allowed me to coach him. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the guys from last year, you know, you're talking about Omar Ziegler Jr., Gavin Walker, who's doing a great job at uh, Seattle Heights, obviously Jaleel Ward. Uh, we've been able to, to coach our guys, mm -hmm. and they've bought in. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, the younger guys coming up had an opportunity to see those guys get coached. Sure. See, see them with the coaching staff get after them. Sure. They didn't do what they expected to do. So uh, these guys, they recognize we have a lot to get better. We have a lot sure. to do to get better. Sure. And when we watch film, we point out things. We don't just look at film and celebrate. Yeah. You know, we celebrate, we get a victory for about 24 hours, then we back to the drawing board. Okay. So they've got an opportunity to see every day, you know what, Coach, ooh, this could have been even better. Right. So that's what we do every day. So uh, you mentioned a young man, Chauncey Willis Jr. And uh, <laughs> I was sitting here with some guys, some have been in the NBA, some were on the college level, and we were talking about the landscape of basketball. Can you make an objective? Mm -hmm. Not a George Will, I'm a coach of King, and I come on this but I've Objective uh, evaluation of why Chauncey Willis should be Mr. Basketball instead of Michigan. Well, we look at it like this. The young man has played uh, high school basketball at the varsity level for four years. Um, in his three years being a starting point guard here at Detroit King, he has not lost a game in the PSL as a starter. Wow. To anybody. Wow. Not a public school league. Yeah. Wow. So we're looking at a young man who is a bona fide winner, and he was more, if you watch the game, he was so enthused passing the ball. Sure, sure. So really, people look at the stat line and realize, well, he's averaging about 25, 26 a night. Mm -hmm. He could average 30 if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. But he really, really gets his rocks off when he makes a pass. And it doesn't have to be the flashy pass. It is the fundamental pass, the opposite diagonal pass. He makes as well as anyone, anyone around that we've seen in the state since cash money. Wow. Now, um, you can always handle tough questions, and I'll throw this at you. Mm -hmm. What can someone say the knock is on Chauncey Willis Jr.? Uh, you know, I don't know if it's a knock. I would think sometimes a game comes too easy for him. Sure, I know. Sometimes because this is the thing about this kid. His IQ is unreal. Mm -hmm. So what, we, what we've done in the line, what we do, and, and, I, and I, I really want my guys to hear this, my other coaching comrades, towards the, the middle of the season, when we practice, I don't practice my first group versus the second group. I don't do that. No. But I do I go with my seniors versus my underclassmen. Every day. Wow. Every single day. Wow. And I coach the underclassmen. So, and, and again, we don't just scrimmage. We're not just getting up and down the floor. We're going over four off four end drills, really half court basketball, wow. hand you switching screens. We are, we are fighting every day. So, my upperclassmen start to see, man, these young guys are getting better every single day. Wow. But this is what's funny. Chauncey and I are now coaching against each other. I see. He's drawing up plays. He'll come up with something. He'll bring his guys to side. He'll call a timeout, and he'll draw up something. And I'll look up, and then they're throwing an alley-oop to somebody. Somebody gets wide open. Whoa. And Chauncey is drawing. He draws it up in his mind. He'll tell you. He doesn't get a board or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, sure. So his IQ is off the charts, and it's just, I, I think it's almost incredible. Because someone said to me, well, he didn't have a great summer. Well, and what the hell is with me? I don't you know. He's playing football. He's not really playing basketball. He wants to say championship football. He, he wants to say, and, and this is the thing. He played basketball for a coach that's not his coach. Let's get this understood. 
you're talking to me about a young man who played AAU for someone who really obviously doesn't know his game well enough to accommodate his skill set sure. and really accommodate the team overall. So when you say he didn't have a good summer, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what that meant. But here it is again. We're talking about a young man who's a bona fide scorer who's averaging almost a triple double though. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight you took about tonight you took about ten shots. I wanted him to take probably about 15, but he was so eager to get everybody sure. involved. And you saw down the stretch, he had a couple of turnovers because he's trying to get guys yeah. involved. And anytime you got your best player, you got the best player in the state of Michigan, uh -huh. who's a bona fide scorer, who wants to pass, that is a heck of a luxury to have, especially someone who wants to defend. The guy had 13 rebounds tonight. Wow. So he's averaging at least nine and a half rebounds per game. Uh -huh. He's averaging nine assists per game, and he's averaging 25 points per game. I want to know what else does he have to do. If he sat it down the rest of the season, he still missed the basketball. And, and beyond the stat line, he just won a city championship. And he won back-to-back -back city championships. Back -back. And, and now let's, let's be realistic. If he doesn't get hurt his sophomore year in the quarterfinal against Mufford, if he doesn't get hurt, you win the city championship. There's no question about it. And everybody knows it. Wow. Because someone said, someone said to me, and they whispered, um, that... Our senior championship last year was kind of had an asterisk next next to it because oh. someone bagged out. Oh. Well, I, I wanted everything in my power to make sure that we had an opportunity to, to do like the OJ said. We're going to give the people what they want. Give people what they want. You can Yeah, yeah. And showed up. That was it. Yeah. Hey, even after winning the city championship back to back, he's still bigging up his uh, players, making a very, very good case for Chauncey Willis Jr. to be not only Mr. Basketball, but just talking about how great of a young man he is. Yeah. Anybody want to uh, on this championship like Now, you, you know what? I just want to shout out all the people who drove 75 North to come out and see this game. You know, so many people were, were talking about why is it at Oakland University? Yeah. And and, and I, I wasn't a fan of it. I wanted to play at Callahan or Wayne sure. State University sure. as well. But, you know, what James Alexander Jr. did and Anika McEvans and obviously uh, Dr. Vitti, they allow this young man to have a special venue yeah. for a game like this. Yeah. And I think that was very, very important. Yeah. So uh, everybody's happy. Everybody's smiling. Uh, Western should be smiling as well because they represented themselves very well. Uh, Coach Kilborn and his guys, they don't have anything to hang their head on. And, you know, we're going to get ready for the state tournament and see what we can do with that. Yeah, we're always a pleasure, Coach. We're always sitting you in the winning chair, and I just want to keep supporting you and keep it up. Man, you're doing a great job, man. I appreciate, appreciate you, you, man. you always in the winning circle, man. You always <laughs> find, <laughs> always find <laughs> your way to the top, though. Hey, hey, I try to. I appreciate that. This is Lindsay House with SPS. We'll see you guys next time. Come on, back to back. Appreciate That's right. That's right. Yeah.